Hey guys, Sung here with a little bit of a different tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Excel 2010. I know 2013's out, haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but uh, what we're going to be doing today should be pretty similar. Uh, what we're going to do is work with conditional formatting, and this is actually for a friend of mine who has to do with a, a lot of lists, uh, different part numbers, uh, order numbers, those kinds of things. And uh, when you've got a large list of numbers that are, can be very similar to each other, how do you get uh, duplicates to stand out um, in the situation? So today we're going to take a look at conditional formatting and uh, get it to where you can see both of these end with 88. They're exactly the same number. They're highlighting. This column is highlighting. And uh, basically doing this um, so that my friend and anybody else can uh, use it to their advantage uh, in whatever it is that they're doing. It doesn't have to apply to part numbers. could be something else. Um, so use it if you can. So first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to clear all this out, come up to conditional formatting, which is under the home menu, say clear all these rules. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, do what we need to do. So in this case, I'm just going to start with what I know. And I'm going to go ahead and go to conditional formatting, highlight rules. Um, going to go to equal to. Uh, because in this case we want to find things that are equal to each other and I'm gonna go ahead and say okay if this is equal to this one and then what I do here is I actually take out this dollar sign this will allow when we copy and paste for the 17 to be adjusted uh, and then I go ahead and hit OK and uh, then I go ahead and do the exact same thing but I do it for the cell that's below it equal to in this case 19 okay there we go and now you can see that it went ahead and highlighted uh, with the color scheme that we used. Now if I copy this and paste it in this entire range, you'll see that uh, 19 here is going to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, go to Paste Special. I'm going to do Formats. There we go. Escape to go ahead and clear out the selection. Now for um, column B here, it's going to be a little bit different because we're going to have to reference back to column A. So we're actually going to use a conditional formatting formula. So we're going to go ahead and select the cell that we're looking at. And we're going to go ahead and hit a new rule. And we're going to select the rule type as use a formula to determine which cell to format. Now this is a little bit different than regular formulas within, um, uh, within Excel. So in this case, we're going to just do or let's see equal to or and we're going to go in this case 17 oh, excuse me 18 is equal to 17 then this would be the case otherwise if 18 is equal to 19 now I'm going to go ahead and take out um, these dollar signs as well just before the numbers for the same reason we discussed before when we copy and paste this will allow uh, these rows uh, to change so now I just have to get something that's somewhat close to this coloring in this case for the fill is here I'm going to go to font change that font color to something a little bit darker it's not going to be exact I couldn't figure this out before I'm going to hit copy again. I'm going to paste in this entire area. Paste special formats. And there we go. We've, we've highlighted, we've matched. Now, if I go ahead and copy this, I'm just going to um, see what I'm going to go ahead and paste uh, values here. So it's the exact same value. Now I come in here. And I go ahead and do a quick sort. Now you can see this went ahead and highlighted, and this um, cell highlighted as well because these all match up. Now, if we ended up doing something here, like changing this one to 77, you can see those went ahead and highlighted as well, as well as the cell in column B. So then, in this case, if you do have duplicates, then you can see them standing out and your eyes can more easily go to them and you're not having to search them out. 
So hopefully this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, please do comment. Um, there's a lot of uses for conditional formatting, a lot of things within Excel, and if there's anything in particular you want to know, I certainly don't know everything. It's been four plus years since I was really actively using Excel within a business situation, but I still do remember quite a bit. So if you've got any thoughts, any questions, please do uh, make a comment. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe, and uh, have a great day.